Recently in the previous video we learned the subtraction of the complex number before that we had learned the addition of complex number and now we're going to talk about the multiplication of the two complex number two or more than two complex number right to understand the multiplication of two complex number I just want to say it's the same process just like we do in the real complex real numbers all right uh, for a while let me take an example let's say z1 is uh, let's say uh, x1 plus i y1 and I have another complex number, let's say j2, uh, which is, let's say, x2 plus i, y2, okay? And now, I want to find out the product of these two complex numbers, j1 times j2, okay? So, uh, let me first write the first complex number, x1 plus i, y1, all right? This is multiplying another complex number, which is x2 plus i, y2 same process we're gonna multiply we will first multiply by by x1 we'll multiply this whole thing all right so xy is going to multiply this whole thing that is uh, x2 plus i times y2 and then again uh, this i y1 will multiply this whole thing this this complete thing all right so i times y1 is going to multiply this x2 plus i y2 so after that what we're getting x1 times x2 all right x1 times x2 plus x1 times uh, y2 i all right so i x1 plus now the turn of this all right when this i y1 will be this thing so it will be i y1 x2 and then plus i and i you know these two i will multiply and give you i square times y1 times y2 all right it's y1 times y2 let me write it a little properly so it will be now x1 times x2 plus i x1 y2 uh, see my friend here I'm getting common you know this thing here is also i here is also i so uh, what about taking this common right let me take common plus x2 y1 all right and you know friend what is the value of this i square we have already learned that the i square is equals to minus 1 so I'm just putting the value of i square as a minus 1 y1 times y2 so rearranging it properly z1 times z2 is giving me x1 times x2 or simply write uh, x1 x2 all right and this is minus so I'm writing here y1 y2 these are without i you know here is also i uh, in this both so I'm writing this first plus i x1 y2 plus x2 y1 this is the final result of the two complex numbers product all right product of the two complex number all right and now let's take an example with uh, with certain number right j1 is equals to let's say 3 plus i4 and j2 is let's say 2 plus uh, i3 okay uh, not i3 i'm taking let's say uh, i7 okay now I'm going to find out z1 times z2 it means uh, 3 plus i is out right 3 plus i4 is multiplying 2 plus i7 uh, first I'm doing by the long method just like I did uh, here and then I will do by the short method all right so by doing so this 3 is going to multiply this whole thing 2 plus i7 and then later this i4 is going to multiply 2 plus i7 so I'll get 3 times 2 that is 6 plus 3 times 7 that is 21 uh, i21 right it's better i21 all right and then i4 will multiply this so you'll get i8 and again plus uh, this i and i it will be i square and then 4 times 7 that is 28 all right uh, oh my god I'm getting lack of space all right so it's 6 and now i square is uh, you know let me write first it properly it's i21 and i8 uh, 21 and 8 that's uh, definitely 29 so it's i29 all right and then i square is minus 28 so 6 minus 28 that is minus 22 plus i29 this is our answer this is the product of the two two uh, uh, complex number now I want to do this very directly uh, from the formula that we extracted here all right it's very simply x1 x2 you know minus y1 y2 so 
the real part product minus imaginary part product so it's x1 x2 all right three times two that is six minus uh, y1 y2 that is four times seven that is uh, four times seven that is 28 okay and then plus i uh, now x1 y2 uh, let me change color this one okay so yeah x1 y2 means this x1 is going to multiply y2 this is uh, 3 times 7 all right this 3 times 7 that is 21 and then x2 y1 that is uh, this x2 y1 all right this two means the last terminal parts and the uh, middle part that is 4 times 2 that is 8 all right that's 8 so uh, 6 minus 28 that is uh, minus 22 plus i and 21 plus 8 that is 29 and again i got the same 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 uh, answer all right uh, so you know uh, let me write it here how i did it when i multiplied 3 plus i4 with 2 plus i7 what i did actually first uh you know first i write uh, i multiplied these two uh this this x1 real parts and then i subtracted this which is my this thing all right and then later in this part uh what you have to do you have to multiply this to the terminal parts all right terminal parts plus the middle part all right very simple all right so the product in very short i'm writing very very short uh see the first real part of the pro, uh, of the final answer is uh x1 x2 all right means first of the both that is three times two three times two minus uh this uh y1 y2 that is four times seven all right this is your real part you finish now now let's go with the imaginary part while writing imaginary part you have to uh, add here you know first write i and then add the terminal parts by multiplying you know terminal parts with the middle part the terminal part is three times seven all right three times seven and add with the middle parts the product of the middle parts that is four times two four times two uh, well it comes after the practice if you do more practice you'll be more smarter so now six minus 28 plus i three times seven that is 21 four times two that is eight and finally you get minus 22 plus 29 here is i like this you need to do the product all right the product of the two complex number uh, let me show you a few things now about the product of the two complex number all right the product of the two complex number z1 times z2 will result to another complex number another complex number all right when you multiply two complex number then you'll get another complex number always and always all right the, the product will be also a complex number see that's z3 and the next thing you need to understand is the product of the two complex number follows the commutative law i mean z1 times z2 is same or you can say equal to z2 times z1 and the third thing you need to understand is the product of the two or more than two complex number follow the associative law also i mean if you have three complex number let's say z1 times z2 you multiplied right and you got a product and the product you multiplied with another complex number let's say z3 then you'll get the same result after uh, doing this also let's say first pro uh, complex number is z1 and you multiplied the first complex number with the uh, product of the second and third complex number so here it is following the associative law and the fourth thing you need to understand is about multiplicative identity multiplicative identity of complex number uh, there exists a multiplicity identity uh, we generally represent by one and which is equals to one plus zero i and in any any you know uh, if you have any complex number it's a z and if you multiply with that uh, multiplicity identity you'll get the same result you know one times z that you'll get z the same complex number whenever you multiply any complex number by the multiplicity identity which is one plus zero i you'll get the same uh, complex number all right and the uh, next thing you need to understand about the multiplication of the complex number is it follows the distributive law distributive uh, law uh, I mean if you have three complex number let's say uh, z1 is multiplying now sum of z2 and z3 then it's it's equal to z1 z2 plus z1 z3 or, or or you may be adding 
you may be multiplying the sum of uh, uh, J1 and J2 with uh, J3. Then again, that time you'll get J1 times J3 plus J2 times J3. So I just want to say that it follows the distributive law just like in the real number system, all right? And the last one, there is the existence of a multiplicative inverse also, existence of multiplicative inverse. For every, you know, for every uh, non-zero complex number, let's say Z equals to anything A plus IB, there exists the multiplicative inverse of that, we generally represent by Z inverse, which is equals to A over A square plus B square plus minus B, uh, later I'll write this, uh, plus I times minus B A square plus B square. And this is the multiplicative inverse of this J, all right? And you always keep in mind that Z times uh, one over Z is always equals to one, all right? And that, that's why we write, I mean, this is the multiplicative inverse of J, all right? So I just want to say that there is the existence of multiplicative inverse. Later, we're gonna discuss a lot about this uh, multiplicative inverse, so I don't wanna focus more here. And uh, this was a little brief about the multiplication of the two complex number. I hope you understand a few things. And if there's any more confusion or doubt to ask me about the multiplication of the two complex number, then please feel free to comment below this video. I will definitely get back to you and I will really appreciate anything that I hear from you, you know. So please comment, like the video and subscribe the channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.